Snow fell outside Chicago's O'Hare International Airport and hundreds of people filled the terminal inside. With Christmas just two days away, travelers are trying to get to their holiday destinations. The Pro's family is headed to Guatemala. We're very excited. We just left 12 inches of snow at home and six more to come, so we're very excited to head to someplace warm and sunny. Despite having to battle the crowns, people seemed in good spirits. Not too bad. I can't complain, but I, do, I come into this knowing that it's going to be crazy. It's like the craziest travel day or something. So I expect it. I'm being patient. There's also better news for West Coast travelers. I've just sat here the whole time. While snow stranded people at Seattle's airport for days, this is what it looked like Monday. Many of those travelers have finally made it on their way. Airlines that serve SeaTac have made great progress in getting back on schedule, but Alaska Airlines says it doesn't have enough available seats to make sure everyone will get where they're going. It's very frustrating, and, the, and it's just been a, a frustrating experience. On the other end of the country, Newark Liberty Airport showed almost all flights on time. Where are you traveling from? From Atlanta. So no problem today. It was, we actually landed early. One reason that airports aren't as busy is that fewer people are taking to the skies. AAA estimates airline traffic will be down 8.5% compared to the holiday season last year. There's also good news on the delay front. The Federal Aviation Administration doesn't report any airports experiencing major delays. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.